No, I don't waste no time. How are you doing guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video it's going to be a bit of a short one guys um, I want to discuss a method of outreach that literally no one really talks about and that is actually getting referrals from your existing clients to augment your agency and your current clientele and before we dive into the nitty gritty um, I just want you to think to yourself have you ever purchased something based off of what someone else told you or what someone else recommended. I, uh, I literally fall for this every single Thursday. Um, so on Thursday, we have the Consult X Mastermind calls where uh, basically everyone in the Consult X program, uh, my pay program, uh, we can you know basically hop on this group Zoom call and we basically discuss the industry. We you know help each other out in terms of ad accounts, getting clients better results, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, and basically, you know, just helping each other scale the agency. And uh, it's funny because a few people have actually mentioned that um, even though like the content in there is literally next level, the actual like USP of it is having like-minded people that you can surround yourself with. Like not people just starting out, or not people interested in SRMA or anything like that, but actual people with six-figure agencies plus that are basically just masterminding and connecting. And it is true what they say, you know, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you spend time with people like that in the group, then chances are, you know, that will obviously, you know, rub off on, on your agency. But anyway, um, you know, back on track. So like I said, every Thursday we have these calls and we always discuss like books to read and what books we're currently reading, etc. cetera. Um, and like I said, I always end up purchasing about three or four books every single week just based on what people are recommending um because if you know uh, if you know that person's uh, interests and values etc you're much more likely to you know follow suit and actually purchase whatever they recommend rather than you seeing advertisements so quick example um 100 million dollar offers a book by alex hormozzi saw the ad seen the ad numerous times didn't get it wasn't until i actually got recommended it on the coaching calls that I just immediately got it. I literally, like, it's, you can watch the replay if you're in the pay program and you can see me just buying it on right there on the spot. Um, and that, that is basically the power of recommendations and referrals, right? So we can reverse engineer that and also start leveraging that method for our agency as well. So before we sort of jump into the referral stuff, there's something that you guys need to understand. So let's say this is the graph of a client's from let's say not knowing who you are to um, you know basically just closing on the spot yeah now there's two things that we need to basically leverage to get Pearson from point A to point B and that is marketing and sales okay so if someone has no idea who you are so let's say on this graph they are here so they are nowhere near being closed you will need to do a lot of selling to get that person to actually, you know, become a closed deal. So in order to get someone that is cold to warm up to the idea of working with your agency or, you know, you help them out with their offer, etc. Um, you know, in order to do that, a lot of sales needs to be done. As opposed to, let me just remove these, someone who has come through a referral. So someone who's come through a referral is much more sold on the idea of working with you because they've come from recommendations etc so basically that referral or the referee referrer i think i don't know but the person who referred that person on has basically done all the marketing for you because they know it works because otherwise that person that referred her on you know would not actually recommend it and uh, the result they've gotten and so on and so forth so that person actually doesn't need a lot of selling on that call it's basically just a call of, hey, you know, can this work for me as well? And I've noticed the same thing, you know, when we get referrals or we get calls booked from people that know clients that we've already got, it's a very, very easy close. It's basically just, okay, so what do we need to do to get started? And um, we've even had a few where there wasn't even a call needed. They basically just got the onboarding process from one of our current clients, onboarded themselves and emailed us saying, hey, we've just onboarded 
um, can you just send over the contract and we'll sort the invoice right away? And it's like, we, we haven't even spoken. We don't even, you know, usually we say, listen, you know, we need to actually figure out if we can get you guys results and so on and so forth. Luckily, it was a big business. So, you know, we could actually get the results for them. But it was just funny the way they just onboarded themselves because they got the link of a client. But that's what I'm trying to get at here, right? Like a referral or someone that comes from someone that's already gotten the results um, will much be much easier to close than someone who has no idea who you are and what you're capable of. So the more marketing you can do on the front end, the less selling is needed on the back end. And the front end is obviously you know, before the actual call. So if we can't get referrals, then what you can also do is make sure that your clients or your potential clients, I should say, have got a lot of information about you before the call. So what you can do, when they book a call on Canonly, you can have a custom thank you page on Canonly where you have a video, which I highly recommend anyway, so they can see the face of the name. So a video that explains, that's basically you, right? Introducing yourself, explaining who you are, what you do, what you're capable of. Um, having video testimonials, which are almost just as powerful as a referral. And then a bunch of portfolio material below it. So results you've gotten for clients in the past and so on and so forth. And that's why it's great if you are very niche down because let's say you are in the fitness supplement industry and you've got a video here that says, hey, you know, my name is Josh. I help uh, clients and customers and businesses and brands in the fitness supplement industry get better results because, you know, we work X, Y, Z. And below that, there's testimonials from people in the fitness supplement industry. Again, just saying, oh yeah, Josh got us great results. And then below that, you've got screenshots of results of other people in the fitness supplement industry. If someone comes through that, and is in the fitness supplement industry, they'll be, you know, all this marketing is pointing towards the fact that you can get results. So less selling is needed on that call, okay? So if you can't get uh, referrals right now, then make sure that you do a lot of marketing before the actual call takes place. So have a custom thank you page, uh, make sure that whatever socials you use are, you know, basically you've, you've got a lot of results there. So if you use Instagram, make sure your highlights are filled with results that you've gotten, happy clients, screenshots of uh, positive words saying, you know, being said about you and your agency and so on and so forth. Same goes for Facebook, same goes for LinkedIn. Um, you know, if you have a landing page or a website or anything like that, make sure that you can prove to these businesses that you can get the results, okay? Now, why are referrals so powerful and how can you set them up? So obviously, like I said, the referrals are powerful because it's much easier to convince someone if someone that they trust is vouching for you. So how do we do it? What we actually recommend is just ask your clients at every single point that you can when you get them good results. So let's say, you know, you're sending your client an update video or, you know, you've got an update call with them and in the last seven days, they've gotten a good result or, you know, if you look at the last 28 days, they've gotten good results. Then just ask them, just say, hey, listen, you know, I'm hoping that you're happy with the service thus far. Um, we can see that we've generated X amount and we've, um, you know, we've basically only spent this, this much. So, you know, you've got a positive return on investment, return on ad spend and so on and so forth. With that said, we actually do have the capacity to take on more businesses. So if you know anyone in your you know, network that could benefit from our service, we'd love to get in touch with them and help them out as well. So no incentive needed, no, you know, no commission, not like that. We just say, listen, you know, if you know anyone, let us know. And that will usually already do the trick. If you notice that your client is a bit reluctant, then yeah, by all means, um, offer them an incentive. But always just try it first. Try it without the incentive, see what they say. And what you need to think of is these clients, because like I said, you know, if you're watching this channel, I hope that you, know, you have the client's interest you know, in mind and you actually do get the results. Otherwise, you know, I don't think you'd be on this channel if you don't think like that. Um, but because you're getting those clients results, you can actually afford to give money away on the front end, you know, for a referral. So what you could even do is, let's say your average retainer is 2,000 a month. You can actually say to your, to your current clients, listen, you know, if you know anyone, we'll actually give you a thousand of, you know, their retainer. Or what you can even say, just to make it sound a bit less uh, salesy and a, a bit less um, like pyramid scheme-ish, if you will. You can say, we'll knock a thousand dollars off your retainer for the first month. Or you can even say, listen, we'll actually give you a percentage off your retainer for however long this current client stays with us. 
And you know, those are just little tricks and ways that you can incentivize your current clients, provided that you're getting the results, of course, to tell their friends and family and network about your agency and about the services that you offer. And then you can do the same again for the referral, right? So let's say uh, client one refers you on to client two, then you get good results for client two, you ask client two for a referral as well, they refer you on to client three. We've done this and we are now eight referrals deep, all stemming from the one business. It's crazy like how, how long this goes. And the great thing is the eighth client that has come through the first referral will also refer us onto other business because we're also getting results for them as well. So that is why, of course, number one, you should make sure that you actually get results for your clients. And then when you do get results, no matter how small or no matter how slow the progress is, just ask for the referral. Because what you might think is not as impressive because you're seeing all these highlights and income stories from other people getting amazing results, your client doesn't see all that. So your client will be happy with the progress that you're making, provided that you're actually making progress. So let's say even if you go from a one ROAS um, with a 50% profit margin, which means that they're not profitable, and you get that up to a two ROAS, which means that they are breaking even, then you've literally already turned their business around because they know whatever they spend on ads, they're getting back as well, and they're getting customers that could potentially refer them, on, you know, refer them on to other people, and you know, you've, you've made the first sale. They might actually come back for multiple purchases. So if you can actually break even for them, even though that's a ROAS of two, it's not that impressive, you've only broken even, you haven't generated them a direct ROI, that is still progress. And you can ask the client in that scenario, listen, you know, we've turned it around, we've actually made you break even on the front end. If you know anyone else that could benefit from breaking even on the front end, you know, let us know. We're more than happy to look at their business as well. Okay, so even though that's not impressive compared to all the results that you see on social media and stuff like that, just still ask for you know the business. If you don't ask, you won't get closed mouth does not get fed. Okay, so hope you guys understand this. And like I said, I feel like no one is really talking about this because it does require the one thing that is actually getting results. And um, like I said, you know, um, I was speaking to a guy about this the other week, a friend of mine. And uh, he said, like, the reason why this never really gets, to gets discussed is because of that one thing, you need to get results. And if the gurus tell you, you know, that you need to get results, that means that they need to teach you how to get results. And that means that they need to bring out Facebook ads and so on and so forth. That is because they don't actually run the agency. Um, you know, it, it's difficult to, you know, basically be in the trenches and explain the latest changes and updates to the Facebook ads. So um, as you guys know, I do still actually run my agency alongside the coaching program and that's why it's easier for me to, to bring out Facebook ad modules and teach you guys about Facebook ads, etc. And also, you know, bring out um, methods of client attraction like this. So anyway, without rambling on too much, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, call to action for you guys is to ask your current clients if they know anyone else that could benefit from your business and you'll be surprised how much your clients will vouch for you if you get good results for them. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're watching this in the Facebook group, leave a comment down below what you'd like to see uh, me record or talk about next. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video.